Hey, it's happening. Everybody stay calm. What's the Everybody procedure, calm. everyone? What's the procedure? Stay the injury bug has now seemed to hit the Arizona Cardinals. Currently, right now, it seems like we're really looking to see if we can fill the need in the safety position um, as of right now because obviously everybody knows that Buda Baker is going through surgery on his hand. Uh, he says that he should be back in a week, but honestly, I think more realistically, we're probably looking more into two to four weeks of recovery for Buda Baker. So what do the Arizona Cardinals do from here on out? That's what we're going to go ahead and dive into, guys. Roll that intro. guys welcome back in now like i mentioned in the intro what i wanted to talk about was the uh where the arizona cardinals might go for the safety position for the arizona cardinals but before i get to that i hope everybody's having a very very good monday i know this is not the type of monday that we all wanted to wake up from especially after that dreaded dreaded lions game um the only thing we can go ahead and do is pick ourselves back up see if we can get on a, a happy face a happy smile and look into the next game which is going to be the carolina panthers game we're not going to talk about it yet we're going to save that for wednesday but i think this is a glaring need for the arizona cardinals obviously buda baker is going through surgery this week um he has something broken in his hand that he needs to get something fixed he thinks he's out for about a week or two but i think we're probably looking more along the lines of either two weeks to four weeks of buda baker being out now obviously with all that said and done uh, we have some need within the safety role um currently right now i know we have deontay thompson but he currently um is only one person Person where we need two people back there now I know Chris Banjo was also you know making some plays back there as well but as of right now with the last press conference from uh, Cliff Kingsbury uh, they're saying that he's day-to-day -day. now that right there doesn't really scream positivity to me right now um, I like Chris Banjo I like what he brought with this defense but if he's not available to come and play during this uh, Carolina Panthers game, I think something that we should go ahead and really start talking about here, like who's going to fill in that need now. Now, there was also a word out there that uh, Tony Jefferson, now that's a very familiar name that a lot of Arizona Cardinal fans know about. He's been with the Arizona Cardinals back in 2013 to 2016, um, and then he spent some time with the Ravens 2017 to 2019. Now, his career, as far as stats for interceptions, has only been four interceptions, and I believe it was one touchdown, if I'm not mistaken. But on Honestly, Tony Jefferson was a fan favorite as far as the uh, being a part of the the no fly zone or whatever you call the the Arizona Cardinals within that little time frame that we had where our our secondary just looked pretty like beastly and, and pretty nasty. But uh, Tony Jefferson was a part of that uh, th th that group pretty much. Now he is being worked up by the Arizona Cardinals as of right now. I don't know if that is going to be an option for the Arizona Cardinals. If it is, awesome. I will definitely be completely happy with him. I know he's made some really clutch plays. Uh, for the Arizona Cardinals being back there. Um, I know he's gotten older. Um, I know if he was still playing at the same level as he was before, I know that probably he probably would have already been signed with a different team. Now, I like Tony Jefferson uh, uh, as a player, as a person. So if he does come with the Arizona Cardinals, I would just be just be happy about it, um, honestly. Now, as far as production goes, is he going to have that same type of production? Probably most likely not. He's been out of the game since 2019. So you got to take that into consideration too. Now, there is that option to get Tony Jefferson on a really cheap deal, put him back there alongside of Deontay Thompson and see how it works. Or we can really, really consider the possibilities of having Isaiah Simmons. Now, obviously, Isaiah Simmons coming into the NFL, there's been so many different people out there saying, where has Isaiah Simmons been? We got him eighth overall, and we're not seeing any production on there. Now, I obviously already knew that getting Devondre Campbell on the free agency market and having Jordan Hicks, and if you're going to specialize him being that weak inside linebacking spot, then we probably wouldn't see Isaiah Simmons unless he pretty much beats the competition out of the park and the competition being Devondre Campbell. Now, Devondre Campbell has been playing very, very well. So I think he's going to take that matchup uh, for that specific position. But also keep in mind that Isaiah Simmons coming into the draft, he's played multiple different positions, whether it's the edge, uh, the, the, the inside linebacking spot, or even safety. So if we consider getting Isaiah Simmons back there, that probably would be a uh, cheaper option because obviously he's already under contract under his rookie deal. Uh, we'll just have to go ahead and 
make sure he gets some reps back there and see if he can get comfortable with the uh, the different play styles that we have. Uh, see if he can get that comfortability with Deontay Thompson um, and even our cornerbacks as well because they have to have so much different communication back there within each other with Patrick Peterson, Byron Murphy, uh, Drake Kirkpatrick. So it's really something that needs to be um, happening. If it's going to happen, it should happen soon, whether it's today tomorrow maybe even Wednesday I feel like Wednesday is kind of pushing it a little bit um, as far as getting that player but if we get Tony Jefferson we can probably start hearing the news maybe tomorrow or Wednesday at the latest um, but I, I like the idea I like the idea of Isaiah Simmons possibly going back there is a big uh, athletic type of uh, player and we can obviously benefit having him back there alongside of Deontay Thompson, uh, I, I would like it, man. It, it would look really different, obviously, but if he's comfortable back there and, you know, taking the routes and, uh, I, you know, shutting down wide receivers that are trying to take the top off the Arizona Cardinals, I would love nothing more than that to get production from our first round pick, our eighth overall pick for the Arizona Cardinals. So uh, I, I would like that a lot. We'll start hearing a little bit more uh, what the Arizona Cardinals are going to do within that safety position as of right now. If you're going to give me the option which route would I take I would love to see Isaiah Simmons on there I love Tony Jefferson but it kind of concerns me a little bit that he hasn't been um, in the NFL you know since 2019 and I believe he was hurt that year so I keep that in mind as well um, my vote would be Isaiah Simmons let's see if we can get some reps back there for him and let's see if we can become that dominant player that we all know and honestly we're really excited to start seeing him uh, play out there but it, honestly I think this year is just completely messed up for a lot of rookies everybody didn't have that proper welcome into the NFL where you have your OTAs your your preseason and, and all the other stuff that comes along with it it's just unfortunate really unfortunate for the rookies coming in but they just have to adapt it, it's the truth of the nature it's a new then the, the nature of the beast, I guess, if you want to say. But uh, we'll see exactly what happens with the Arizona Cardinals. I'm, I'm really expecting to hear some news uh, fairly shortly, uh, maybe by tomorrow or Wednesday, uh, exactly what we're going to do from here on out because we have Carolina Panthers and it seems like Teddy Bridgewater um, is going to be trying to throw that uh, trying to throw that ball down the field, especially because they know that uh, what we're struggling right now with the safety position, not having Buda Baker back there, guys. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Super curious to find out what you guys are feeling. Put it on the comments below. Don't forget to drop a like and if you're new please consider subscribing to the az sports fan on youtube that's all i got guys have a great rest of your day happy monday guys thank you so much